really out for a bit of a fish. Kerry really wants to make her coconut habanero raw fish, so she wants a couple of snappers, so that's what we're going to chase this morning. We'll see how we go. Oh, it's all right, baby, don't be afraid. Just give a heads up on my dangerous ways. And I know everything I touch burns right down to dust. Cause I'm reckless. Yeah, I'm reckless. And I always seem to fall on the wrong side of the law. Cause I'm reckless. It's got another good little pan sized snapper. I got, we got about three of these this morning. And uh, that's all we need, hey? That's perfect to feed our family for a couple of days and Kerry will be able to do a raw fish, so it just started to rain, so I'm gonna put this guy out of his misery and head back in, I reckon. So today we're going to make one of my favorite dishes in my cookbook. It is called coconut habanero raw fish. Now I love it because every time I make it, it's so unassuming and everybody devours it. If you want to find this recipe, you can find it in the link below. It's in my current cookbook app now. Right, coconut habanero raw fish is a little bit of a take on my grandfather's, well, moldy raw fish, which it states raw, but it's not. It's actually cured over time in citrus. I like to use both lemon and lime because I take a little bit from Mexico and Costa Rica and my travels there and bring them home to my grandfather's raw fish, which he uses just cream and lemon. Sometimes you'll find it with some lemon pepper and different vegetables throughout the whole of the country. So I'm just gonna give you my version and I really hope you try it and love it. So Lockie went out the other day and he caught some decent sized pan sized um, snapper. So we're gonna use them because they're nice and fresh. Fresh is best. I'm gonna just basically cure them while I prepare all the vegetables and like I said, lemon and lime. Okay, so no great order, but I prefer to do it this way. I just find that it helps it move a bit quicker, especially if you want to eat your raw fish the same, within the same time frame as it being ready. Um, so we're going to roll our lemons, I'm going to use a Z, and squeeze half of each into the bottom of the pan or bowl that you're using first. I don't want any seeds, if you can avoid it, lime. And then basically we'll slice the fish into slithers and pop them into the lime and lemon. I'm going. So it's really up to you what bite size you like. I kind of just think that's a really nice piece to go on a corn chip. Shake and keep going. Around. You'll start to see the colour of the fish change and they all slowly look cooked as the, they soak into the lemon. Now that we've got all our fish chopped up there, we are, can sort of start to see it changing colour. I'm going to let that sit. And, not normally for me, but we are going to use, oh, I found real coconuts. So I figured let's give it a go and pop it in. It isn't in my recipe in the book, we just use coconut cream in the book, but we thought this might be quite cool to have a go in. So let's have our, this is going to be my first time cracking open a coconut, let's see how I go. Oh, what do you reckon, good? Okay. Ready? One. Count me down. Yep. Woo! We almost lost it.
the next part of this dish is my favourite piece to this is to have like a little bit of smokiness through the fish. It's a little bit different. So we're just going to pop some habaneros, capskin and chilli all onto a flame and we're slowly going to char them. Okay, so we're just going to blister off. We've got two, some sweet capsicum and we've got a red chilli. Now, we haven't been able to get our hands on any habaneros um, where we are right now. So I'm just going to use these guys. But if you can find habaneros, they are delicious and what the recipe calls for. And then we're just going to pickle our onion. So, nice slices of onion. And we're just going to make a little vinegar mix. Let them sit in, sit in the mix for just a, a five or ten minutes. They don't, really don't need long, especially if they're nice and thin. And they just sort of take the bite off onion so that when you do take a bite into your raw fish, it's a little bit sweet. Okay, so now to our vinegar mix. Pop onions in and they can just have a little hangout while we start to prepare everything. Right, let's have a look. A raw fish has drunk up all of the citrus and starting to change colour. Perfect. Now we're going to add in our coconut cream. I'm not going to add in the whole can just because we've already used fresh coconut. So probably just half for this amount of fish. A good shake. I prefer cream over milk. You can use milk. Just find that because of how we eat this, kind of share it with big chunks of corn chips and stuff, it's, it just is easier to pick up. In goes coconut. Ooh, we don't want to lose that. Mix them around. Now, when it comes to the chilies and the capsicum, it's up to you. Um, you can leave the char on of the skin, or you can just simply peel it all off. Not worrying too much about some of the char does give lots of flavour. It's a really nice smoky um, ness to the fish. So I'm just going to kind of like be rough about it. What we can, pop it down. Same with these guys, they just rub off. These ones are nice and sweet. They add heaps of colour. They're nice and small, so just little ringlets. Go. It's crazy. It's crazy. Turn these guys over. Okay, coriander. Some people love it, some people hate it. We love it. And in this dish, it's really needed. If you don't have it, it kind of just tastes a bit different. These stems have loads of flavour, loads of pungency. So if you don't really like coriander, get rid of the, the, the stems and just sort of pluck the leaves into it. We're going to go the whole haul. So I'm just going to chop away. Nice and fine. And there we go. Give it a great mix. So now your raw fish is basically ready to eat. I would advise if you have the chance to pop it in the fridge for 30 minutes, let it cool right down. It's really, really nice when it's super chill. But for the sake of today, we're just gonna serve it up and I've got coconut. So let's put it in there. So you can chuck in your red onion now, but I'm actually just gonna pop it on top because I think it might look really pretty. I can feel Lockie hovering, ready to eat some. It's his favourite, I think. Is it your favourite? <laughs> he was sitting back there like watching, just waiting. It's definitely like up there with one of my favourites for sure. It's so good. Oh, it's 
It's amazing. Okay, let's give this some more juice. Josset. More Josset is what Lockie's grandfather used to call anything with juice. All right, mate, I'm gonna pass you this and I'll get you some corn chips. But that right there, coconut habanero raw fish. Just come back out. So we're gonna take these down to the beach. While the kids play in the sand, we're gonna have some delicious raw fish. Freshly caught by Dad. Well done, Dad.